We are in Leonardo Design Studio right now. I'm just going to highlight both of these right here and I'm going to option, hold down the option key, mouse key, slide up, release. And you see what that did right there. Click that again, hold down option, slide up and release on the uh, pad. And there we go, we're duplicating these right here. And we are good to go, got everything reversed. I'm just gonna press, uh, no, I'm not gonna press send yet because I gotta load my vinyl cutter up. So let me load the vinyl cutter up. I'm gonna load in this vinyl from the back here if I can get it in that little groove. Get up, I'm gonna raise that foot first. Line it up on that edge and bring this in right here and click this down. Here we go. All right, so in the software, what I'm gonna do, I already went ahead and I grouped everything. I'm gonna ungroup it because it really doesn't matter, right? So I'm just gonna select all. Um, you don't need to select all, but I'm just gonna select all. I'm gonna press send to cut. Uh, keep in mind, this is already flipped horizontal, all right? It's already flipped backwards. So send design to cut. I'm gonna, it's selected artwork, artwork that fits on page and make sure you have selected, don't separate by color. Watch what happens. If I click send right now, it doesn't have the other part, right? So let me go back to design. Let me send to cut again. Don't separate by color, press send now. You see everything that's on my page is now there, okay? So you wanna pay attention to those settings, all right? If I mirror this, it's gonna flip it the correct way. I don't wanna do that because I already have it flipped behind. I already have it flipped backwards. So now I'm just gonna press send to cut and I'm gonna use uh, blade tool as a standard blade and make sure use cutter settings is selected if you've already selected the settings on your cutter, all right? So now I'm gonna send the cut and we're gonna have the Caesar Romeo cutter cut this. Okay, see up here, for, for example, I have Caesar Romeo, Caesar Juliet. Okay, yeah, Caesar Romeo is selected. It just didn't change right there. Okay, cool. So now that doesn't matter because they both cut the same. So let me just uh, send the cut. I could add a weed box around it. Don't need that, but let's just send it to cutter. Press yes. You get a thinking, and then it starts to cut. And look at how this thing moves. Look at how this thing moves, guys. You see this thing moving right here? Real time, you guys are getting this in real time. Move my hands under the camera so you guys can see this in real time. It's not sped up or anything like that. So yeah, all right. When it comes to vinyl, there are three vinyls that I always need, that I always want in my stash, and that I encourage all of you guys to always keep around so you guys have some, so you guys can use some, and they always sell. And one of them um, is not going to be quite what you expect. In the comments down below, I want you guys to guess which three vinyls I'm talking about. And I want you guys to tell me your favorite go-to three vinyls that you always have in your collection. All right. I know everybody always has the typical regular white vinyl and typical regular black vinyl, the regular go-tos. That's not what I'm talking about. The three vinyls that I use are always flock vinyl, brick vinyl, and glitter vinyl. Right? You guys were not expecting me to say that. Flock vinyl, brick vinyl, and glitter vinyl. I bet some of you guys thought I was going to say puff vinyl, but puff is not in my top three. It's glitter, brick, and flock. Always have those in stock. Always use those to make your stuff, and you can never go wrong with those three. Use my heat transfer warehouse affiliate link down description below. So today we're going to be pressing an old school throwback design with our Walla Press Pro from Heat Transfer Warehouse and I'm gonna show you guys how we do this. All right, we're gonna be using this shirt right here. Doesn't matter what shirt you're using. And I am going to roll it out, give it a lint roll, because this stuff has so much lint on it right here. When your lint roller gets messed up, the thing I like about lint rollers, just take the top layer off and you got a fresh, brand new lint roller right there, man. You can't, let me tell y'all something, you can't beat that right there. All right, so lint roll this out. Get all that lint off so your vinyl can stick nice and proper. 
All right. So now we're just going to give this a little pre-press to get all the wrinkles out so we have a nice dehumidified, demoisturized, I should say dehumidified, demoisturized surface so we can press onto. And I don't remember how I did these before, but it's going to be interesting to line this stuff up. Let's go ahead and line up our image. This is an old image that I did. It's a throwback image from a couple years ago that I'm going to put in the front of the store so you guys can come on down and purchase one if you'd like. All right, boom. All right, here we go. Line that up right in the center, making sure I'm placing it right in the center. Now, I'm not sure how I did this back in the day if I put this on first or if I put this on first, but it makes sense to put this one on first because this lines everything up and then these letters can go right in the middle of that and fall inside. So it makes sense to do this one first. So one of my favorite vinyls right here, glitter vinyl, sparkle, sparkle rather. This is not glitter, this is sparkle. Caesar sparkle white, all right? So boom, one, one more look just to make sure. It seems like it's pulled over this side a little bit. I'm just gonna place it down just one more time because I'm anal like that. All right, four fingers down or about four fingers down. Boom, just like that one more time. This is why it helps so much to have a T-square, but I'm just trusting, trusting in me and my skills right here. All right, so that, that's good. All right, boom. All right, so I'm gonna press this down. I got my vinyl, I got my heat press at 300 degrees, 15 seconds for this. I'm not sure if that's heat transfer out as recommended settings, but those are the settings that I use for my Caesar glitter. And you guys will see this design after it. And let me know what, let me, let me know what you think about it. Boom, up, and look at that, watch this. Look how easy that comes off, nice and easy right there, right? Love it, love it, absolutely love it. Look at look look how that looks. All right, so now I'm gonna lay my second layer on top, put those letters right in the gap right there, and just put that right on top of there, just like that, excellente. And when you're doing something like this, is shirts have give, right? So don't be afraid to push and pull and lay down some heat tape to make sure everything is exactly in place because you know vinyl does weird stuff when you lay it down so don't be afraid to like push pull um pull the fabric a little bit move it around you know what i'm saying move it around just a little bit right there and everything seems to be lined up perfectly but i'm gonna put one more piece of heat tape down here and the good thing about this vinyl along with flock vinyl not so much brick but this vinyl right here, you can press right on top of it. So I'm gonna press down right on top of it without the Teflon sheet. 300 degrees, 15 seconds. Bada bing, bada boom. And I am gonna do a final press to lock that design into place. All right, here we go. Boom, all right, so boom. Look, look, look at that, look at that. Look how easy that came off. Now, I'm gonna use my Teflon one more press just to lock that in and we'll be good to go. I have this design in my wardrobe, guys, and wash after wash after wash. I've probably washed this shirt about 50 times. Okay, I'm exaggerating. Okay, maybe like 20, 25 times and the design's not going anywhere, guys. Design is not going anywhere. All right, so you guys have it. Look at this. It's crazy. Crazy. Who wouldn't want to buy that? Stop playing. Oh, you guys see the sparkle? Is the sparkle coming out? Look at that thing. Dedication. Go ahead on the website, allenaway.com and pick up your dedication shirt. If you are in the area, come on down to the front, to the storefront area. 2930 Jasper Street, Unit 220, Philadelphia, PA. Come on down and hit us up and shop. Here we go, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby? Like this, like this.